All right, what we've got here is a Heister forklift tilt cylinder, uh, and we're going to be resealing it. First things first, we're going to bleed this, make sure there's no oil in it. All right, we'll push the uh, rod in. Oil's coming out back there. Put a rag over it so it don't go out the side. All right, the majority of it's out there. Okay, now we take it out with the spanner. And that just pulls right out. That uh, that rod seal is shot. Pull the rod out. There's a there's a little bit of rust and pitting going on here towards the end. There's a little bit going on right there, which that that can be cleaned up with a flapper disc. Okay, get our aluminum out because you can't put this can't put this chrome rod right in in a vise, or you will damage the rod. Okay, got our socket, three quarter impact. Okay. Okay. Piston off. And there's an O-ring here. Take this O-ring off the rod. Okay. Put the rod back in. Snug it down. Okay, we've got the rod snug back down. Now we just take out all the seals. Start with the gland. We'll remove the O-ring first. Then the backup. And that's it externally. Now we'll remove the U-cup. Things brittle. That was clearly the problem. And the wiper's gone totally pretty well. And we remove we remove the wiper. And that's it for the head. Now the piston, wear band, 
piston seal. There's the seal and the expander, which this expander's been blown or something. Or it wasn't installed right. It's got a spot on it right here. Okay. That's it for the seals. All right, once our seals are removed, we'll, uh, we'll wipe all this down. I know this is a dirty rag, but this is just the preliminary wipe. Just wiping everything down, getting the getting the big chunks off. Okay. Okay. Got the external wire brushed. Uh, got the piston clean. Now to clean the inside uh, on the uh, wiper groove and then the uh, rod seal groove, the U cup groove. So, first we'll start with the wiper. Next, the U cup. Okay, once that's done, we'll blow these out. Get us a clean rag. Then we'll wipe everything off. Be sure and get that wiper groove, then the U cup groove. All right, looks a lot better. And there's the piston. All right, there's the gland and the piston cleaned up. Next step, get the seals. All right. We've got our new seals. We'll start with the gland first. Take our wiper and put our wiper in with the lip facing outwards. There's that. Flip it over. U cup. And the lip is going to be facing towards the bottom of the gland because this is where the pressure hits. It'll spread this bevel out to do the sealing. So put that in. Next we'll get the back up and this has got the concave right here. It goes on first. Take and make sure that's laying down. Then the O-ring. And the purpose of that backup and that concave is it sits in behind the O-ring and backs the pressure. Once pressure's on that O-ring, this backup ring is backing up the O-ring. All right, that's it for the head seals. Now the piston. Well, we'll go ahead and get this O-ring out of the way. It goes on the rod here. That's for the uh, piston, the inside of that piston. Okay, piston seal. 
All right, with piston seal, expander first. In this case, it's just an O-ring. And then the seal itself. This is a bronze filled piston seal. Okay, piston seal is on, then the wear band. Wear band's on, and we are resealed. Okay, we're resealed. Now, put everything back together. First things first, put, the, put some grease on the O-ring here. Piston goes back on. Okay, pistons on. We won't worry about hitting that on the the uh, nut. We'll push it on whenever we run it up with the impact. Start the nut back. So this nut here is crimped on the end, so it's a it's a type of lock locking nut. And with that, you don't have to use any thread locker. So, we'll get that back on. There's that. Be sure you're using aluminum uh, blocks in your vise whenever you do that sort of stuff to keep the, uh, to keep the chrome protected. All right, set that to the side. We'll put the tube back in. We're going to hit the inside of that a little bit. Okay. Got our flapper disc. And we're doing it just enough to knock all that down. Back smooth. And that's that. Pull our rag out. All right, we're good there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is clamp on the piston nut here. And we're going to grease up our U-cup. Next, we put our gland on. Okay, plans on. Set that down to the side. Next, we'll put our tube back in. Okay. We'll lube up our piston seal. Make sure that O-ring's lubed up. Put some lube grease in the tube there and <clears throat> and there we go. I'm gonna slide the gland forward. Let's see if we can turn it by hand first. Get a rag for traction. Use our big channel locks, tighten her down. Then these uh, have O-ring face fittings on them, so we'll pull the O-rings out of those, put new ones in, and this one's done. If you liked what you saw, go down there, click the subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching.